Hey everyone, this is my review of the ExtraFi M4, not to be confused with the M42. I feel like ExtraFi is a very underrated company with very good mice and should be looked into further. This is the ergonomic mouse. The ergonomic mouse has the very flat top here. You can see there's not much of a point to it at all. And with that, um, it kind of curves down a little bit to the left. Um, and into the thumb. The, the curve here is very, very deep, uh, not shallow at all. This is actually one of my bigger gripes with this mouse is that left hand curve, um, left, left part of the curve, it kind of juts out in a weird way into the meat of your palm. Now, as you can see here on the right side and everything, the right side is a very, very wave type of uh, curve to it. It's very, um, straight it's very straight up and down and it's it doesn't give you any flare outs I guess you could say clicks in the click feel on the mouse is very crisp uh, quite honestly it's probably one of the best in the industry that nobody really actually looks at the left click is as soon as you press it it's it actuates as soon as the right click as soon as you click it actuates I've never had any issues with them buttons. Now, mouse 4 and mouse 5 is kind of odd. Uh, mouse 4 and mouse 5 have a, a little bit of pre-travel and post-travel to, in the beginning, they feel very, very crisp. They feel very, very nice to push. Um, they honestly were probably one of the best um, buttons I've ever had, but the more I started to think about it and, and you know, press them slowly and test them out and then start playing and pressing them, the more mushier they started to actually feel. The bottom side only has a DPI button and the polling rate. Here we have rounded PTFE feet, and in my opinion, they worked perfectly fine. The only gripe I do have with the PTF feet is they are the smaller feet. They are not the big type of feet that you get with, like, Vaxi. Um, so yeah, I feel like that kind of is unfortunate, but it's, it's feet. <laughs> so here we do have the, uh, DPI, or you could say the CPI button, um, the polling rate down here at the bottom. Um, it does the 125, 500 and 1000, and you do not need any software to download. It's straight up everything on the mouse, plug and play. As you can see here, what we have on the box um, is all of the information. We have the 3389 um, sensor. We have the extra fi easy cord. We have the polling rates. Um, we have the UV coated surface that is dust resistant and supposed to be water resistant. The button here um, behind the scroll wheel is actually for lighting effects. So pressing the button itself changes the effect of the uh, RGB, but when you press and hold the button and right click, it changes the color on the current mode you're on. So if you have it on a breathing effect, you can make it changed from white to blue breathing to green to purple. If it's like a, uh, I call it like the razor where it like shoots across really quickly or really slowly, you can change the colors from there. The cable itself is very, very easy to move. It's one of the better cables, in my opinion. It's up there with Vaxi. I don't have any sort of struggle moving the cable. I don't have any sort of struggle <laughs> it, it being on my desk or it getting caught on anything. It's very, very easy to move. As you can see, it takes a lot for the cord to get bumps around um, in order to like actually move the mouse itself. Left and right is kind of janky. The clearance for the cable is very slightly angled. It doesn't have a, v a lot of angle to it like you would see on Vaxi um, or uh, what, what was it? The old uh, Zowie mice where it was like the ZA13 where it was super angled. So it's, it's there but it's nothing crazy. Now we'll go ahead and do a click test.
And here's a creaking test. All in all, it's a B-tier mouse. Um, the ergonomics are great on it. The only thing is that the little left-hand side gets into in a weird spot on the meat of my thumb. So personally, it's not that great for me. The holes really do hold it back. I wish it was a um, one complete shell, not like complete as in one uniform body, but just no holes in it at all. Um, 4K for those who enjoy 4K and everything and um, the just durability, just the creakiness really holds it back. I feel as though if all of these were fixed, it would probably be an S tier ergo mouse and a 3395 sensor. But that's my take. That's uh, my ExtraFi M4. Maybe mine is just a one off copy that got really, really creaky. But that's a, kind of why I didn't really go with buying a new extra five. Um, I was really interested in the MZ1 and the M42, but I had to kind of step away from extra five. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'm out of here.